What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to talk about exotic shaders, new DLC information and epic emotes. But before we get into the video guys, I am giving away a D2 Rockstar in-game gear code. To win, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. Okay, so let's start. Yesterday I put out a video talking about how I believe the first DLC for D2 was going to be Vex related and damn I got some stick on that video. Although what I explained made serious sense, and I will explain it again, people didn't seem to agree with me. I mentioned that Luke Smith within a Q&A, he was asked about the Vex's role within Destiny 2. Luke Smith went on to say, The Vex don't play specifically a role in the conflict between the Red Legion, but while you're playing through Destiny 2, while you're playing a bunch of different content, we are pointing at places we are going to go next. Part of the fun of making and playing games is seeing that intention and knowing that it's all going somewhere. I went on to say in my video that the first DLC for Destiny 2 will surround Osiris, we know this, and people who follow the lore of Destiny 2 know Osiris was obsessed with Vex. I also went on to mention a video which was an old cinematic which had leaked months back which featured the Vex on the Destiny 2 planet IO. The cinematic was cut from whatever they had it planned for or it was made in prep for D2 but it's out there and again guys I will link it within the video description. So yes that's what I went on to say in my video. I was basically putting pieces of a jigsaw together but it did seriously make sense but I got so much stick for it. It was unbelievable. Now yesterday evening a great source for leaked info in Koteku spoke of new info he had regarding the first DLC for Destiny 2. And remember guys, this was literally about 5 hours after my video. So they state, yesterday a source sent over some high level details on the upcoming DLC, which is called The Curse of Osiris, and is scheduled to be out in December, 3 months after Destiny 2 launches on September 6th. According to those details which have corroborated with a second source familiar with plans for Destiny 2, the Curse of Osiris will come with a patrol zone on the planet Mercury and a social space on the lighthouse, an area in Destiny 1 that was only available for players who netted flawless records in the player vs player gauntlet trials of Osiris. The DLC story will revolve around saving Osiris, who has been mentioned quite a bit in Destiny's lore, not yet seen in the game, saving this dude from the robotic alien Vex, which we should hear more about soon. So yes guys, as I mentioned in my video and got stick 4, it revolves around us saving Osiris from the Vex. The DLC is called The Curse of Osiris, sounds pretty epic to me and it will be out in December and if I had to guess I'd probably say around December 5th. Now I never gloat but I gotta say I did tell you guys so. <laughs> and for all those people that have thrown hate at me for my opinion and my idea, well you know, it is what it is. Okay, so moving on, and you guys have got to have seen this by now. If you haven't prepared to be amazed, check out this new emote for Destiny 2. It shows a titan somehow forming a hologram of a table, then flipping it into the air. This is something of a surprise to me, it seriously is. It looks incredible, and imagine what other holographic emotes we might see in the game. Okay, so next up I want to talk about exotic shaders. Now this won't come as a surprise to anyone. With Destiny 1 and how it was going, ornaments and so forth, and how the community wanted more ways to customise our characters and gear, Bungie listened and added a massive variety of customization to Destiny 2 when it comes to weapons and armours. But as far as I know, besides ornaments if they're going to be a thing within Destiny 2, we do know of shaders that can be applied to at least our legendary gear. But now guys, I can confirm that shaders can also be applied to exotics too. Check out this footage. Upon this guardian acquiring a shader, read the small print. Shaders customize the appearance of rare, legendary and exotic gear. Exotic gear, that is absolutely great. But to be honest, I'm not surprised at this at all. I mean, it could only be armors, but I do have a feeling we might just be able to apply these shaders to our exotic weapons too. What's just as surprising here though is that we can apply shaders to rare gear also. Bungie are not holding back. The level of customization in my opinion, although we know quite a lot so far, will indeed be surprising once we actually get to experience it for ourselves and I cannot wait for that. So epic holographic emotes, exotic shaders, what other surprises are Bungie not telling us? And on that note guys, I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you hopefully on that next one.
getting round. 